Hey gardeners, welcome to our channel. Today I have April here. My name is Brandon. We are with Botanical Interests and we are harvesting garlic. Okay, so April, how do we know when these are ready to be harvested? Garlic's ready to be harvested when one third to one half of the leaves have browned and dried. And at that point, when you st start seeing the leaves dry, you wanna cut back water. Okay, so it looks like this one right here is ready. You're right. Okay, so what kind of tools do we need to do this? You're gonna want a pair of sturdy gloves and a digging fork, which is different than a pitchfork. Oh, it's not a pitchfork. A digging fork has flat tines and they won't bend when you dig them into the soil. Ah, that's right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where do you put the digging fork initially? Well, you don't wanna put it too close to the plant because you could pierce the bulb. So I kind of back it up maybe four inches or so. Okay. And the trick is, is you want to put the fork in pretty straight. So you're again, trying to avoid piercing those bulbs that are under there about four inches. Okay. So I try to put it in straight and then we gently lift up the bulbs. Oh, look at that. And there we go. They look great. Now you can kind of knock the major parts of the soil off while we're here in the garden. But the big cleaning doesn't come until after they're cured. Okay, so once you've pulled it out of the soil, what do you have to do to the bulb? You don't want to damage the skin because that's protecting it for long-term storage. So we just knock the dirt off of the roots, keep the roots intact, keep the skin intact, and now we'll hang it for three to five weeks to let it cure. And while it cures, the flavor intensifies and we just sit and wait to enjoy our garlic after it's done. Ooh, that's kind of making me hungry right now, <laughs> thinking about that. <laughs> now that we have cleaned it, what's the next step? Well, now we prep it for the curing process. So we hang it. I hang mine in the garage. You don't want a place that's too hot um, or definitely not near freezing. Um, and you can hang them in bundles of up to 20. I use a simple slip knot here so as the garlic dries and gets smaller, it'll continue to tighten as it hangs. You hang it in that space with good ventilation with up to 20 bulbs for three to five weeks. And then you'll, you'll note that the the leaves and the stems will become crackly and very dry and that's when it's done. That's great. Ready to eat. Yeah and you ha I guess you have to make sure that you label it if you have several different uh, varieties growing so that you remember. Good point Brandon you do want to label it right. and I would say that this is a good opportunity to look over all the bulbs make sure that there's no damage that you don't see any mold because of course you wouldn't want to include those in the bunch because they could infect the others. Okay, our garlic's been sitting for three to five weeks. It's dry and cure. The leaves are papery, crunchy. And when you cut it, you'll see there's no green on the inside anymore. So it's ready to be eaten. So we do our final cleanup, which means um, cut it from the stem. You can see I still leave about an inch and a half or so on top. And then I also cut off the roots, leaving about a quarter of an inch from the bulb definitely don't want to cut into the bulb as it can leave it open for infection. And there's some dirt on the outside. We just take off one layer of the skin because the more skin it has, the longer it'll store. And voila, <laughs> better than grocery store.